Hello friends, welcome to the tool tip of the day. I thought I will make a video and share it with you because I cannot explain the features of this tool uh, as a chat or a text message. So today the tool tip is called as WhatsApp web class. You might know about WhatsApp on your mobile and you might also know about WhatsApp web on the laptop or desktop using the browser, we can connect to WhatsApp. But WhatsApp Web Plus is a automation tool. Uh, it can do many things, a lot of things that WhatsApp cannot do. This tool will help you to do it. And I have, there are many WhatsApp uh, bulk sender messages tools or many other tools for WhatsApp on the market but i have not seen a tool like this whatsapp web plus what it can do as uh, what others are doing there is a lot of difference uh, let's look at it one by one so basically this whatsapp web plus the website is w a w plus wow plus dot com so that's a website i am hearing whatsapp web plus so basically it's a uh, Chrome extension. It sits on the browser, Chrome browser or uh, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge browser. So here, uh, this option install now. Once you click on this install now, it takes you to the Chrome extension uh, list and where you can find this WA Web Plus for WhatsApp, Wow Plus. So this is what, uh, and you will find here install button. I have already installed, so that's the reason it is showing me remove from Chrome. So once you install, okay, so I have installed on my Microsoft Edge, that is Internet Explorer also. So here it is this option, this plus symbol, uh, which is a uh, wow plus. So this is what uh, it says, uh, open WhatsApp web first. So right now uh, I'm on Chrome browser. Uh, I have already installed this wow web plus. Uh, plugin for uh, Chrome browser. It is there here uh, under this icon. Uh, so here it is. WA Web Plus for WhatsApp. So if you don't have any extensions, it will display here, but I have a lot many of extensions. So uh, WA Web Plus for WhatsApp uh, is the tool. And uh, you need to first open this web WhatsApp uh, like you normally do. And then uh, when you have installed this WA Web Plus for WhatsApp, uh, it will show here, uh, click here this button. Okay, so it is just trying to open the application, WhatsApp Web Plus, okay, uh, it is shown here. Okay, let's go here. Uh, on this uh, window, when you are active, so let's uh, click this, okay. I will explain all these features. Uh, let me first un uh, uncheck them so I can explain these useful features for you. Okay. So this is WhatsApp and uh, this is a WhatsApp Web Plus. Okay. So this first three options I have enabled. So that is blur recent messages, blur contact names, blur contact photos. So uh, let me uncheck uh, all of this and. Uh, Okay, so first is blur recent messages. So the recent messages which are um, showing as unread, those are hidden now, okay? Blur contact names. Now you cannot see the contact names at all unless you hover on one of the contact, uh, then only uh, you can see. Blur contact photos. So you cannot see the photos now. Uh, if you uncheck this, you can see the photos. But you uh, check this, the photos can also uh, be set as invisible. That is a great thing. Uh, even the WhatsApp doesn't allow and there is no other tool which uh, does this. If there is any tool, uh, just type it in the comment box. I will have a look at it. Okay. Blur conversation messages. So this is a uh, different thing. Um, and if you look at, let's say, um, this is one thing. And Okay, let me open it once again. So whenever uh, you are opening in a different chat and it is not available, you need to go to this uh, extension and click this and it will get enabled. So now I have enabled this blur conversational messages. So have a look at it. You cannot see this. All these are blurred now. 
unless until I uh, hover on a text, only then it will display, otherwise it will not display. It is in a blurred now. Okay, that's about blurred. Play audio messages without informing the sender. So this is a good thing. So whenever somebody sends you an audio message, and when you hear uh, uh, for the sender, it will display two double tick mark saying that, okay, uh, this person has uh, uh, listened to my audio. Okay, so if you enable this, then even if you hear the audio message, it will not inform to the sender saying that, okay, this person has already played your audio. That's a cool thing. View status without informing the poster. Okay, this is a great, great thing. And uh, we love status messages uh, for different people and we uh, go through all the status messages. And if you uh, enable this, and then now go to any status message and check it. The person will not see that, okay, this person has saw my status message. Okay, that's about it. Uh, this about uh, WhatsApp web. So if you want to see the status, okay, this is the option. You click here and select one of the person of whom you want to uh, see the status message. So let's say I want to, I will pick up this person. And this person has posted some uh, video, uh, some comic video, and I have seen this, but this person will not see that uh, I have seen this. Okay, so that's about uh, the option. Uh, let's go back to this Wow Plus. So that's about this uh, view status without informing the poster. Now this option, disable read receipts. So if you uh, enable this, uh, and if you read any message, it will not be sent as a double tick mark, blue tick mark to the person who sent you the message. Uh, hide typing status. Okay, this is another cool thing. And uh, this is what how it works. So if you are typing some message to a person, um, for that person, it will uh, display or status like typing. And when you enable this, that person cannot see that you are typing and you can still be typing. Hide online status. So this is like, uh, even if you're online, uh, it won't be visible as online for others. And this is a very, very cool feature. Uh, I have not tested how it uh, actually works, but uh, there are two scenarios I'm expecting. One is I send a message to a person and I deleted it. So this tool will still show that message to me. The other way could be somebody sends me a message and he delete, deletes it, but still I can see it. So I, I need to test that and uh, I can confirm that. But uh, right now uh, this feature is available and it says it is free. That means uh, earlier it is part of a paid version. Now they made it free. Now this is a uh, lock screen. So if you set or enable this, you need to set a password. So once you set a password, um, and uh, you enable this option. So whenever uh, you move to some other browsers and come back to this browser, uh, it will ask for the password. This will be really helpful if you are uh, working on a uh, public um, computers or laptops where you are surrounded with different people, colleagues, friends, and at home, uh, somebody also uses your laptop uh, for their work, then this uh, privacy is required. So you can set the password. And whatever the options, features uh, I'm explaining you, these are all applicable only on WhatsApp web only. Whatever you do here will not get updated on your mobile WhatsApp. Let me be clear with that. So this is all working with only WhatsApp web, not on mobile WhatsApp, okay? Whatever you do here, it will not impact your WhatsApp web. I know uh, these two are cool features. Okay, enable this like button and enable message reactions. Okay, let me explain you how this works, okay? So let me uh, go to one of the uh, message. Okay, uh, let me go somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So here, this is one. Uh, I am in one of the chat. Okay. So here, uh, this option is enabled. Uh, it's a like button. So instead of going here uh, and then choosing this or uh, this or this, uh, by default, this uh, like button is added here. Uh, it is for ease and convenience. You just click this and it will uh, be sent. And another is a cool feature. Uh, that is, let's say, 
one second. Okay, okay, this one something. Okay, somebody sent this message to me, and uh, one I once I hover my uh, cursor here, you can see that these options are visible. These are like Facebook uh, emojis. These are appearing on a message. So instead of going to this section and then uh, click, click, click all these things, okay, uh, some are uh, some of the important uh, or frequently used emojis are added here. Uh, once you just click on a message, this will be uh, appearing and uh, you can select and send uh, whatever you like. Okay, so here is something similar. Okay, something here. Uh, once I just uh, kept my mouse here, uh, these are available. Same thing here. So it's a cool feature. Uh, and that is about uh, these two options. Uh, one second. Okay, okay, okay. I need to enable this. So that is these two options enable like button and enable message reactions. Now let's look at another one pin unread chats to the top. So let's say you continuously keep getting chat messages on your WhatsApp and you get uh, get lost. Uh, sometimes you don't know uh, which you which message you have missed. So in that case, you enable this option and all the unread chats will go on the top. OK, so I'm not doing that. Uh, I hope that is clear freeze chat list on message submission. So this is like if you sub, uh, send a message, the chats gets freezed. So how exactly it works, I have not tested it, but that is what I'm um, assuming. Uh, I can uh, keep you posted on this uh, if uh, what I'm telling is different from what I uh, experience after testing it. So at this moment, I'm uh, expecting that, okay, when you mess submit a message, uh, the chats get freezed. OK, this, these three are another cool options. Uh, let me explain you one by one. Um, enable contact status. OK, so once I click this, uh, let's say, so this is a person. And uh, OK, so here, uh, you'll, you'll see here the person is online or offline. OK, that is one thing uh, that is by default available uh, as a WhatsApp uh, feature. Uh, so that is also part of this. Uh, WhatsApp Web Plus, that is Web Plus. Okay, uh, highlight online contacts. This is another cool feature. Let me explain you how it works. Okay, okay, uh, got here. So this is one person, and you can see this uh, uh, green dot, which means that this person is active or online. This is uh, similar to what uh, we used to see in Google or Gmail chat. Somebody who is active, the, there is a green dot. Uh, similar to that, so we can see who are all active uh, from our contact list at this point of time. Uh, if you enable this highlight online contacts, okay. Uh, then uh, one more thing, okay. Notify about online contacts. When you enable this option, if somebody uh, becomes active suddenly or comes online, uh, you'll get a small pop up here. Uh, and as we go through this video, there will be multiple times uh, you'll find this uh, small pop up saying that this person is active. Uh, you'll find that uh, you can notice it. Uh, I have made it, uh, I have enabled this option uh, notify about online contacts. Okay, uh, so this is another one. Uh, keep contact info open. So if you uh, enable this option and whatever the chat that is active, the persons or the group contact information uh, will appear at the right side. So this is a person, uh, the person is, uh, the chat is active and you can see this person's contact information is visible here. Okay, so this is uh, one more thing, enable start conversations with non-contacts. So that means uh, you want to send a WhatsApp message to somebody who is not part of your contact list, then uh, you enable this option. Uh, okay, so right now there is nothing here, uh, there is a um, status uh, icon. If you click this status messages will appear. Uh, then there is a new chat option. So if you click this new chat, you can select one of the contacts and then start chatting with him. Uh, so now if you enable this, enable this start conversation with non-contacts. Once you enable this, there is a new button uh, that appears. And when you click it, you, you can just need, you just need to type the contact a number of the person, including the country code, and then start chatting with him. That's it. No need to save the contact number in your 
uh, phone contacts list. OK, so now uh, let's see this enable status download button. This is a new feature, very, very interesting feature. And uh, we we visit uh, different people's uh, status messages. And sometimes we found that some of the uh, messages or images or videos other people are sharing are interesting and we want to share them on our status. Um, but unfortunately, what WhatsApp is not providing any option for us to download. So if it is a text or an image, we generally take a screenshot and then share it as an image. But if it is a video, uh, we have to ask the person. In fact, even if it is a screenshot, it, it doesn't look good always. So uh, if you want to download uh, status messages of other people, then use this option. So I have not enabled this. Let's see how it looks. And then I will enable and show how it looks. OK, cool. So first, let's go to status and see one of the status of somebody. OK, OK, OK. So this person. Uh, so this is what he shared. And you can see that, OK, there is nothing here. I'm just holding it off. Otherwise, this status message will go. Nothing here. There is no you, there is no way you can download. OK, so somebody else is sharing something else. So there is no way you can download. Now let's go to this web plus. Um, and enable this option. I have enabled. Now let's go back to the statuses. Let's look at uh, some status. OK. Uh, somebody is sharing. OK, OK, let's uh, let's look at this person. Uh, this is my yoga teacher. OK, he's uh, doing some yoga and there is an option here to download it. The image is downloaded. That's it. You don't have to do anything. Whether uh, the status is an image or a video, you can still download. So the option is enable status download button. OK, now let's look at this option, uh, pin unlimited chats. So by default, WhatsApp allows you to pin only three chats, whether it is an individual chat or a group chat, uh, you can only pin three chats, not more than that. But using this option, you can pin unlimited chats. You can select what chats you want to uh, pin. So it's a big list. I have more than about 2,000 people um, in my uh, WhatsApp. So whatever the chat you want to pin, uh, just go, go there and press uh, use this option, press to select. So the particular chat will be pinned. OK. Uh, speed up uh, audio messages. So this is, let's say, somebody is into a 10-minute audio, but you want to um, listen to that complete audio in only five minutes. That means you need to speed up the playing uh, speed of that audio. So enable this option. OK. So 1x is default uh, normal speed. 1.25x is 25% uh, more speed than normal. So if you select this, uh, you can select this 2.0x. That means the playing speed will be double than normal. Okay, I'm unable uh, or uh, uh, deselecting that. Uh, it's not required for me. Custom chat wallpaper. If you want to uh, set any custom chats, okay, you can see this. This person is online now because I have enabled this option. It is notifying me. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's come back to this custom chat wallpaper. So if you want to set any custom wallpaper, so you can um, enable this and do it. Uh, it's um, uh, known to most of the people, so I'm not getting into that. Uh, enable this night mode. So uh, right now the window is in a white screen. Uh, and if I enable this, it becomes into black screen. So this is night mode. Night mode is more uh, energetic than the white mode. So uh, that is option you need to enable. So at the bottom, you can see this is my uh, account, WhatsApp account name. This is my WhatsApp account number. Uh, and these are some details of uh, you can convert this uh, language into different languages. Sharing support, how to use this and contact. So uh, this is one more feature. So if you want to set some status, uh, as a WhatsApp status, you can 
click this and write something and click on this the whatever text you have uh, written it will be added as your status if you want to add a image or a video you can select uh, the file and then uh, click on this button and it will be added okay so let's let's get into uh, business tools so business tools are mostly uh, useful or we can do some kind of automation here broadcasting if you want to send a message to contacts groups labels broadcast countries anybody you can do it from here uh, select uh, whatever the message that you want to send um, by default there's a template otherwise you can create a new template so write something here whatever you want to write uh, give a name to template you can uh, create a text template, a video template, or a contact template. Okay, and once you save this template, it will be appearing. So select the template and select to whom you want to send, and then start messaging. So by default, WhatsApp uh, allows you to send a particular message to five contacts or five groups at a time, not more than that. But using this tool you can automate sending the same message to 100 contacts or 100 groups using this option that is delay set a delay between the messages that you can send let's say there are 100 contacts and you want to send the same message to 100 contacts individual contacts i'm talking about not the broadcasts so uh, you can set a 10 second delay or 30 second delay and this tool will keep on sending the same message to 100 people and you can schedule for later also uh, you can select the date and time uh, if you want to send uh, the same message every day or repeat the same message every uh, few days you can select the repetition also and click on save and at that particular time and uh, date it will be the message will be sent the requirement here is that if you are using this schedule for later at the time and the date the whatsapp web should be actively connected to internet and also your mobile should be actively connected to internet and whatsapp on your mobile should be active because whatsapp uh, web works with the mobile whatsapp that is there in the backend without mobile whatsapp whatsapp web will not work so that's a prerequisite and just ensure that um, it is connected the whatsapp on your mobile and whatsapp web are connected always if you are using this schedule for later okay so smart replies uh, smart replies are same as broadcasting uh, here the only thing is that if you uh, do it or these are all remain same. These uh, few options are uh, given extra features only when specific days, only on specific days. So somebody sometimes you want to send a message on every Monday. Maybe uh, then you need to uh, enable this and select when you want to send. Uh, you want to send auto replies to groups then you select what group you want to send okay let's say you want to send a message if there is a match of a word let's say india india is a word you be it in an individual chat or in a group chat somebody types the word india then you want to send a standard automated message then you can do it uh, this option you use it so let's say somebody sent a message and you are replying to that it's not a new message uh, you are using the reply option and then typing the text whatever you want to reply so enable this automatically this uh, tool will reply to that particular person's message send typing status before replying okay so some, uh, sometimes you might have seen that uh in in a group or a individual chat somebody uh, uh, is typing and you got typing as a message 
So if you want to do that, uh, use this option. And by default, it will send all this um, all these tasks immediately. But if you want to delay by five seconds, ten seconds, twenty seconds, you can do it. Like for example, in a group, uh, somebody posted a message and you want to reply to that, and you are using this uh, smart replies for that. Uh, by default, it is immediately. This tool will immediately reply. But if you want to, let's say, delay by 20 seconds and then reply, it will do it. Okay, that is about smart replies, schedule messaging, as we have already seen. So same thing here, schedule messaging. This is a separate section they have provided, but um, uh, under this broadcasting also uh, scheduled messages there. Uh, that is scheduled for later. The same thing happens uh, uh, under this schedule messaging. So you need to just uh, create the template, uh, select the date and time, and then schedule for later. Okay, uh, group tools. Now this is another amazing uh, feature. So there is a clone group. So that means there is a group, you are part of it, and you want to clone the exact group and create a new group with the same number of uh, participants which are part of the existing group. Use this clone group and you can create a new group automatically. Destroy group. If you want to delete a group and uh, destroy the group completely, erase it. You can use this option. And bulk join groups. So if you have, let's say, 10 group URLs and you want to join uh, all those 10 groups, just uh, click this button and paste all the group URLs and then click join. And maybe you can give some time delay. Uh, every 10 seconds you join your group, it will do it. Duplicates finder. Let's say uh, you are part of 100 groups and you want and you have 1000 contacts in your uh, mobile. You want to see um, how many people are duplicating the groups, uh, all the groups that you are part of. So let's say I click here and it will display all the groups and in each group who are the people duplicate. So this is a big list that comes up as you are part uh, as I'm part of so many groups, uh, and if you're part of a small uh, maybe two or three groups, uh, you can easily understand. But uh, I have a big list, so nothing to worry about it for me. Uh, but uh, the, I'm just trying to explain the feature of the uh, duplicates finder. Uh, this is a click to chat generator. This is available in WhatsApp business. Uh, if you uh, want to uh, send a create and send a link for your WhatsApp with a pre-filled message, then you can use it. Uh, so here, uh, type in your pre-filled message and uh, the new link will come here and uh, you can share that link and whenever somebody clicks that link, uh, it will redirect to their WhatsApp with a pre-filled message and they can start sending immediately. Then this is contact synchronizing. So let's say uh, you have uh, created or added a new contact uh, on this wow plus using this whatsapp web uh, but that person or contact is not part of your uh, mobile contacts uh, using this feature contact synchronizing uh, you can uh, sync between the contacts uh, uh, using uh, this uh, wow plus contact synchronizing feature there is a special mobile app that is given you need to download and then uh, provide this API key only then it will work otherwise it will not work so if you want to just explore that WA web plus mobile partner uh, CRM integration so CRM integration is nothing but uh, let's say you are uh, using a CRM for your business and you want to integrate that CRM with your WhatsApp uh, web plus um, so that you can transfer data to and fro or create new customers in CRM based on whatever conversations you are doing uh, you can uh, do it using this integrate new CRM. Uh, I'm using a uh, paid version of this uh, Wow Plus. Uh, and in this paid subscription that I am using, this integration of new CRM is not available. So I need to search for different packages that are available. Um, But I felt that, okay, this is not really important for me. So I thought uh, I will give it a skip. So this is not uh, really important for me. So I am skipping this web hooks. This is in beta phase. This is also similar to uh, some kind of automation. Um, and it is still in beta phase. I have not explored. But using this web hooks, you can do certain tasks. 
like getting the post or uh, deleting the post or something like that uh, i'm still uh, learning this webhook concept uh, for this uh, web plus so i'm not pretty sure at this point of time how this webhooks works for this web plus um uh, skipping this part okay so next is artifich sorry artificial intelligence toolkit uh, it is still coming so i don't have anything idea about it uh, let's see how or what kind of features they are going to bring in using this artificial intelligence okay so that is about enhancements and business tools this is really amazing i have not seen this kind of uh, uh, whatsapp automation uh, software anywhere um, i have maybe gone through 8 to 10 softwares for whatsapp uh, no software has provided this all they were providing is only bulk sending of messages this is nothing but your scheduling or uh, click to uh, chat generator or, or whatever uh, or you can use uh, this option to do that export option so you can export to various things like contacts list chats list uh, specific groups you want to export you can export your broadcast your export labels if you are using this business whatsapp this is option provided or personal whatsapp doesn't have this option and uh, contacts from specific countries if you are saving country information when you are saving a contact in your phone then only you can do it otherwise uh, it is based on uh, mobile number uh, prefix then uh, this particular web, web plus can do it otherwise it is not really possible automatically so these are some statistics of my mobile and whatsapp uh, phone contacts 1800 um, all chats 1300 personal chats uh, 1200 group chats 90 89 90 broadcast 15 oh my god i am not sure about uh, i'm uh, part of so many groups and so many broadcasts okay um, and device i'm using samsung device and os is uh, android 10 and uh, i have the battery so these are all different things uh, contacts activity so what is happening this is still in beta phase but what it does is it will show you uh, a contact uh, take a particular contact when he became online when he became offline and when he came back online all that it is being tracked here i am not sure how it is going to be useful but yet, yes this is information is available inside this wav plus okay so that is about a wav plus if you have any questions uh, please comment i think this is a great great uh, useful tool for a web, uh, whatsapp automation i have not seen any such tool till now so if you have any questions please comment i will try to answer as many uh, questions as possible and if you have any uh, feedback uh, please let me know in the comments if you think that this is very very useful to you please share with your friends and other colleagues this is not just for business people this is for even individuals all those who are using whatsapp uh, continuously and frequently this is a great great tool and one more thing here is that this is available in subscription format of three uh, plans starter professional and expert uh this is somewhere costing around thousand rupees per month and they are going to give you this tool for five whatsapp numbers i have not checked the cost for this and this um, but uh, yeah so uh, they are providing uh, somewhere around 1200 rupees per month for five whatsapp accounts okay uh, that is the cost that they are starting to get somewhere around that uh, right now uh, there is a deal that is going on the discounted price of this wow uh, plus software see i am using this uh, lifetime license i don't need to pay uh, monthly for this using this uh, wow plus uh, software uh, i'm using a lifetime license i explored this tool uh, for the last 24 hours and i found it and then i went and bought it uh, so somewhere around uh, at uh, 80 dollars or 70 dollars this tool is available so what they are providing in this uh, 70 dollars is they are providing this professional uh, plan and you can see that disable uh, read receipts and the crm integrations and web hooks these are not there here but they are providing disable read receipts and crm integration only sorry they, they are providing disable read receipts and web hooks only crm they are not providing in this lifetime uh, discounted sale that they are currently running uh, this uh, lifetime sale is only available for the next 12 hours or 10 hours maximum and by the time you see this uh, that uh, lifetime discount should have already vanished so i found this tool uh, yesterday and i was uh, exploring this tool for last 24 hours and i felt it is an amazing tool for whatsapp automation 
and uh, a thumbs up from my end uh, on this tool. They are, they, are, they are in the market for last three years and uh, amazing uh, uh, reviews. So you can see this, this particular tool is used by more than one lakh users and uh, 4.5 uh, review, uh, review rating. Uh, the reviews are given by 2,200 people and the average rating is 4.5 out of 5. So you can imagine uh, the kind of uh, the kind the kind of uh, features this particular tool is bringing in for WhatsApp. Okay, so if you think that uh, you want to do it uh, or you want to take it, uh, I'm uh, adding a discounted sale link in my description. In the in the description, you can go and uh, explore it. But there are some certain features which are available for free if you want you can explore that and if you think that okay after using that if you still need to use uh, different other features then you then only you can go for a subscription it's not mandatory uh, yeah this tool is available for free some of the options are available uh, like um, uh, this one this uh, it's free only or it's free now so there are free options available go and explore and i'm adding the uh, web url of this web plus uh, in the description go and explore install it on your uh, chrome browser or microsoft edge browser and uh, start using it thank you